Hi guys, I'm back with another medical strain review. Today we're going to review Peanut Butter Mac. This one is grown by Interstellar. It's an indica dominant hybrid. I can tell you right now that it's more on the indica side than anything. Uh, it's a 22% THC flower. I got it on my medicinal prescription. I'm really keen to review it. I've been looking forward to this one. As you can tell by the smile on my face, I really liked it. We've already tried it and I really enjoy this, uh, this strain. It's an indica dominant hybrid. I can tell you right now, it's a really strong indica. I've been using it at night as much as I can because of my uh, insomnia. It's working really well. Uh, this is the first one I've been prescribed by this brand and I can tell you right now, I really enjoy it. As the name suggests, Peanut Butter Mac, it has a really nutty flavor when you smoke it. It also has a little bit of herbal flavor to it, which I really enjoy. This strain comes packed in a 10 gram package. Uh, it goes for about $140 for 10 grams, which is pretty good for value. So let's have a crack, let's open it up and see how we go. It has a seal on it, and it also happens to have a Bovita 62% humidity pack. When growing medicinal cannabis, many growers will opt for this option. It's a really good thing to do. Uh, what they will do, they will slowly crank down their humidity down to the 62% that they like to stick to. If you've gone too dry with your flowers, which some growers do, they tend to throw one of these in there with their flowers. Now, bringing the humidity back up to 62% is only going to bring the humidity back up to 62%. It's not going to bring back your terpenes and your flavors that you've lost in the drying period. And this is very important to point out. So uh, it seems here that the growers done the right thing and slowly cured their cannabis. Now, when you take the flower out of the pot, you can clearly notice that the flower is nice and sticky. It's not dry. It smells really good. I'm not sure how they trim their flowers. By looking at it right now, I would say that if it was hand manicured, it would be almost too perfect. I uh, almost suggest that they might have used a machine to trim their buds. Uh, it's not a big deal. It could be the reason that uh, the flower's just been grown really well and it's really dense. I recommend using this flower at night or after coming home from a long day at work. So I've tried to uh, see if I could find a bit of information on where this flower was grown. Uh, obviously it's grown all over the world, being a very famous brand. Peanut Butter Mac uh, has been grown by medicinal growers for a long time all around the world. Uh, I was trying to find out where this brand is grown, whether it's grown locally here in Australia or overseas. Uh, I couldn't find any information, but I'll keep looking. When I do find out, I will put an update in the description below. Like I said, it's a really nice flower. I really recommend it. If you have any questions about this brand or want to find out anything more, we'll put links in the description. And uh, please let me know what you think of it if you've tried it before. And let me know what you think of the video as well. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you guys learned a lot today. If there's anything else that you guys want to know in future videos or recommendations, okay, we're here to try and make things better. So please let me know and I'll try and uh, make a better video for you guys next time.